Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about the land of and. You know, most clients when they come to me for a coaching relationship are stuck up against something. They're stuck with a decision or they're not really happy in their lives. And it's very often that we uncover that the way that they're looking things is actually neither or nor. So what I mean by that is there are two things that perhaps they say they want um, and it seems at first glance that those things might be opposed to each other. So they're living in either I have neither of them, I don't get either one, or uh, nor. So neither nor, I have this one uh, or this one, but there's just, there's just no way that I can have both of them. I mean, that's just impossible. And I actually beg to differ. I think that anything is possible. I'm a living example of my own land of and. I mean, what do you mean? How could I either be a coach or I'd get to live in British Columbia, where I'm from and I've always wanted to live, but there's no way I could do both. I'd either have to be a coach and live outside of British Columbia or I would possibly have to live in British Columbia, but there's, I'll have to find a different career. Not at all. This is the land of and. I'm getting to be a coach and I have fantastic clients and I live in the place that I wanted to live in. This is the land of and. Sometimes it might take a little bit of creativity and the answer may not be readily available. It may take us some real work to dig in and um, maybe even further external, external support, whether it's professionally or personally, to really find out what is available. However, I strongly believe in living in the land of and, which means actually, how about if one thing that they really want and the other thing can be leveraged for the sake of each other, even though they might seem completely diametrically opposed? Or what if it's possible that they can have one thing and the other, maybe those two things move forward in parallel at a slightly slower pace, but they actually get to have both of them rather than just one. And I notice what happens for our clients uh, in a coaching process when we discover this land of and and just start putting a toe in there and then maybe a foot and then maybe a second toe on the other foot, that um, their eyes light up and their whole um, stature, their whole physical just gets lighter and they start to sit up straight, their voice changes, they get their, their volume increases. It's really, really incredible when we live in the land of and. So I just want to challenge you. If you are noticing yourself living in neither nor, which might also sound like your land, woe is me, there is such a thing as the land of and, and it's possible, and it's innovative, and it's creative. It might also be really challenging, but I'll tell you what, it's the biggest game for you, and it's where everything of you is possible. So I want to invite you in to the land of and. We'll see you there.